Hey guys, Sam here. Um, this video is just about some um, changes that we're going to be making to uh, GP2 for the autumn, uh, which is amusing and I are now running. So we have a website, it's gp2ls.engine.com, which you should already know. 16 races have signed up, which is brilliant because we now have a full grid. We uh, will be uh, taking applications for reserve drivers which I'll explain what they'll do later. Uh, we want everyone to be on the site as much as possible so that you can interact with everyone on the site, tell us what you think should be changed about the league and just have a great time really. It's just a community I suppose. So, um, some changes. Since we took the league over we noticed that due to um, various drive changes the championship was half full of now F1 LS or drivers that no longer race with us. So we decided that from now on GP2 will be have two championships per year. One for the spring and one for the autumn. Uh, this is because F1 LS has a driver market window in the summer and since they get most of their drivers from GP2 the standings get a little uh, screwed up over the summer. So that means this year's championship for GP2 is over. So here are the final standings. Is Amusing takes the top spot with 93 points, a 24 lead over Mr. Shiz Shizir in second. Sorry if I don't know how you have to pronounce your name. Followed by Initialization, Iceman Alcazar, and Dolek135 in fifth. Congratulations is amusing on taking the WDC crown in the first ever season of GP2 live season. So back onto the changes. Um, we have a new rule put into place. If you can't attend a race, you must tell either myself or is amusing before the race. If you do not, and this continues, we'll have to reevaluate your position in the league because there might be some reserve drivers who are here more often than you were on a race league. So basically. Since we have 16 drivers on the grid already, anyone else who wants to take up uh, to sign up to the league can't actually uh, get a race seat because there isn't enough space. But first of all, if we get enough race uh, uh, reserve drivers, then we may end up uh, making a new league, so a GP3, which I won't have any trouble running, um, and then. If we don't get that many people and there's only like three or four reserve drivers, then um, once someone does not attend often and they have got a race seat, we will offer that race seat to one of the reserve drivers because obviously they're going to be here more because the other person obviously doesn't care about at GP2 LS since they're not racing with us. So uh, if you don't turn up for three consecutive races without any reason at all, it is an automatic demotion to reserve driver. Um, no matter how uh, good you are, no matter how important you are to the league, it does not matter. If you don't attend three without reason, you're down. Uh, we want people racing in the league, not just reserving their spot for when they feel like racing. If you're ill or anything, just tell us. I mean, if we, uh, if you're ill and you can't race, for it. First of all, it's only a computer game. Second of all, <laughs> if you uh, if you just tell us, we'll, we'll we'll take that into account, and we'll probably like get a reserve driver in for the time that you're ill, and then you can go back uh, to your race seat afterwards. Um, the final big change. Um, if you've been on the um, forums recently, you've seen this. That on uh, since GP2 is all about enabling drivers to improve so that they can try and get into a uh, uh, F1 live season, we thought of having the idea of teams. So, 
we'd have a number one driver and a number two driver. The number one driver would be more experienced and uh, faster than the number two driver. Uh, so the uh, best drivers in the league would get uh, placed into pool one and pool two would contain everyone else. So uh, these would be randomly drawn together and also with a random team and that would be the team for the forthcoming season. Obviously this just lets less experienced drivers improve by having a more exper experienced teammate to converse with about strategies and race setups and etc etc. So I have ranked the current members of the team by their average points per race over the last few races and certain trial events that we've had. So here are the pools that we've decided on. Pool 1 consists of Blakey748, Dolek135, F1 Pico, Iceman Alcazar, Initialization, is amusing. Joe Viza, I still don't know how to pronounce half of your names, and Mr. Shazir. So these are the people I've uh, decided are probably the best people in the league at the minute, uh, judging on their average points for the race that they have done uh, in the last few races and any um, trial events that we've had. So, uh, pool two, the other people consist of Kaz0694, Chocrolo888, Edgar's B, F1LS Monster, Lobphil, Mr. Ghost 010, 010 even, it's weird, Rog Smith, and Sam596, myself. So, then, on Tuesday, I think I did it, uh, I drew the teams. So, if you want to see the, the uh, draw as I as I did it, I uh, recorded the screen capture just so you can s see that it's not a bogus thing and it's not fixed in any way. So if you want to click on the screen right now or there is a link in the description of the uh, screen capture of my random drawing using Google Chrome and other weird stuff. Uh, it's not very exciting, it's only about four minutes long but meh, there's no, there's no um, voiceover or anything, there's a nice bit of music I think over it. <laughs> so the teams in the Red Bull we have Blakey seven four eight and Sam five nine six myself. In the Mercedes we have Dolek one three five and Lobphil. In the Ferrari first team driver is is amusing and second, Edgar's B. In the Lotus, first team driver is Joe Viza. And second is Kaz0694. McLaren have Mr. Shazir and F1LS Monster. Force India have F1 Pico and Mr. Ghost 010. Sauber have Initialization and Rog Smith. Williams have Iceman Alcazar and Choc Rolo 888. So there you go, guys. That is the uh, new teams for the second half of 2014. Uh, personally, I think McLaren have a good team. Uh, and that, well, I don't want to say that's about it, but I think they're all pretty well matched. I mean, McLaren especially. I think they might have a good, a good time. So, if you'd like to um, change constructor, first of all, both of the drivers in the team must agree, and the other team that you want to switch to must agree also to switch. So, uh, for instance, if Dolek135 and Lobville wanted to change to Red Bull, then first of all, all four drivers would have to agree on that if you know what I mean. So Dolek135 and Lobfil must agree that they want to go to Red Bull and Blakey748 and myself must agree that we either want to go to Mercedes or uh, Toro Rosso, Caterham or Marussia, whatever the other ones are. So that is about it I suppose really for this video. Um, I suppose we'll see you in Belgium for the very first race of the second half of GP2 LS. Make sure you keep uh, updated uh, with everything on the site. So uh, 
if you haven't already signed up so you can be a reserve driver and maybe even go into a GP3 league if we get enough people and uh, we'll see you in Belgium then so thanks bye